tough summer out on the diecast tour. Grant Enfinger leads the most laps and goes back to back at Daytona. But the sweltering months have all led to this. Mason Mitchell wins in the ARCA Racing Series. Coming into the trial, John West Talley will win at Daytona. 32 titans of the sport gathering under one roof. The winner of this race is Gus Dean. Josh Williams will finish second. In the final battle for Tiny Car Supremacy. Now Chase Briscoe adds his name to that list. He's a winner at Pocono. Boys, move over. The lady is coming through. It's time for the Arkham Menard Series Tournament of Champions. Tape delayed from the short track at Basement International Speedway and part of the 2019 Summer Diecast Nationals. 32 competitive cars line the grid today to go up against the new intimidating four wide shootout starting gate presented by Trading Paints. A capacity crowd of cars and trucks have gathered in the basement today to see these 32 cars take on the new format of the tournament. A four lane track, a gravity drop down to the finish line where only the fastest surviving car of the four will advance on to the round of eight. You asked for more short track action, more beating and banging action, we're gonna deliver today Something to watch for will be how will these tiny cars react to having traffic on the inside and outside as they navigate the tricky slope. And take a look through the field, down the slope to our finish gate. It's an intimidating drop for sure. If you can stay on track and keep your momentum, it might be enough to carry you to victory today and earn you bragging rights as our first four wide champion. And now let's take a look at the field for today's event. It's the double zero 2015 Chevy of Cole Custer. Next up, the 05 2016 Chevrolet of the chicken man John West Townley. Now the two car of Sarah Cornette Ching from back in 2015. It too a Chevy. Next up, the any year Lucas Oil Chevrolet from Bobby Gerhardt. And now the number six black car from Josh Williams back in 2016. Next up, the number 15 Venturini Motorsports white Toyota of Christian Eckes from 2018 and the 2016 Ford of Ty Majeski in the number 17 today. Now Liliani Munters, number 20 Vegan Strong Toyota from 2018. Shane Lee's number 22 Ford from 2017. Spencer Gallagher's 2014 Chevy, back in the old style. First in the redesign of 2019, it's Brett Holmes' number 23 Chevrolet. Then Justin Boston's number 25 Zaloop, 2014 Toyota. Natalie Decker's 2018 Toyota, number 25. Tom Hessert's number 25 from the Venturini camp, back in 2017. Next up, it's Travis Braden driving the number 27 from back in 2017, a Ford. Then Sheldon Creed's 2018 championship winning car, number 28. It's the Sinclair number 28, piloted by Michael Self back in 2016. Now Jesse Wooji's Chevy, number 34 from 2018. John Core's number 43 Chevy for Empire back in 2018. It's Will Rogers Ford for Ken Schrader Racing, the Dry Dean number 52 from 2018. And William Byron's old style Liberty number 55 Toyota from 2016 as well. Haley Deegan driving this year's number 55, also a Toyota. Next up, a pair of Fords from 2015. It's Michael Lear in the number 58, and David Levine in the similar number 59. Next, it's young J.J. Haley, before he was a Justin, in 2014 in this Toyota. Now, Will Kimmel in the number 69 Ford from 2018. It's Chase Briscoe's number 77 Ford from 2016. And Dalton Sargent's number 77 Ford from 2017. Kyle Weatherman piloted this number 78 Chevy back in 2017. And here's Grant Enfinger from back in 2014 in his number 90 Chevrolet. And here's Gus Dean's Talladega car from back in 2016, a number 98. And wrapping up the field, it's Mason Mitchell's championship car from back in 2014, the number 98 Ford. But before the ARCA cars make their inaugural run, it's truck season. An eight truck exhibition. You've heard of the triple truck challenge? How about the quadruple truck challenge here today? Eight of the new truck series diecasts in a quick downhill showcase, moving something like this, this amazing magic of Chase Briscoe driving himself down the racetrack, except for the part where you can see me with the compressed air can moving it along, or just forget about it. One winner from each round will advance to the championship, 
So first up, we've got Jordan Anderson, Brett Moffat, Ryan Truex, and Harrison Burton on the far side. Close finish. It's going to be awarded to Harrison Burton. Tight racing all the way to the line, but he is the first to the stripe there. Great action first off. Next up, Justin Haley in the 24, Stuart Friesen in the 52, Parker Kligerman in the 75, Matt Kraft in the 88. Away they go. And do you believe what you've just seen? Have you ever? No, I've never. Justin Haley initially I thought had somersaulted. He got up on his rear end, still won all four trucks way up in the air there. Somehow all came back down into their proper lane. Kligerman on his side. Oh, Matt Crafton, hard hit into the wall. Other three trucks, including Kligerman, back on four wheels. The Crafton upside down. But it's Justin Haley who will survive and advance. Back to our two-lane championship round here early on in the Summer Diecast Nationals. It's Harrison Burton on the inside and Justin Haley on the outside. And away they go. Tight race, clean race down to the line. It's going to go to Harrison Burton, who's your inaugural champion here on the short track and our little quadruple truck challenge showcase. Great run for him and a great lead up to our main event coming up next. And take a look at the beautiful brackets in store for this year's Summer Diecast Nationals, being held in conjunction with the Arca Menard Series Tournament of Champions for the first time. Our 32 car field will be whittled down to eight, then four, and then the final showdown for the championship title. First four cars are in the gate, and away they go, down to the stripe, and Cole Custer will win on the far inside lane, barely holding off Bobby Gerhardt. Tight race. This one's going to go to Cole. Now our next four, Josh Williams, Christian Eckes, Ty Majeski, and Leilani Munter. Oh, trouble on this one. Munter will take the flag first. We've got cars upside down here. Let's take a look. Oh, Majeski and Eckes never got out of the gate well. Both land upside down. Eckes never finishes. Still on his roof there in the yellow lane. Now into the 20s. A look down the steep, steep slope to the finish. Way they go. And another clean race. It's going to go to Spencer Gallagher. His blue car gets a run late after Shane Lee. Looks like he had it wrapped up. Gallagher had the momentum. And now another gaggle of 20s. It's Decker, Hessert, Brayden, and Sheldon Creed. Oh! None of them finish the race all upside down almost the entire way and this is going to present a problem for the track workers as we see there is possibly the track was just too steep we're gonna to have to spend a little time making a remedy here flattening it out well, let's give this one another shot a redo as we've got Hesser Decker wait I'll switch those switch them switch them yeah that's right D then H and down they go again and a much cleaner race. Natalie Decker will take this one on the far inside. Oh, again, a very tight run, but she's first to the shadow gate. Next up, another beautiful foursome. It's Michael Self, Jesse Wuji, Sean Core, and Will Rogers. Away they go. Oh, trouble early for Self. Sean Core will take the win. And Michael Self ended up on his lid. Ooh. Upside down early. Will Rogers also getting airborne, but he managed to save it, get back down on all four. We're into the 50s now with William Byron, Haley Deegan, and the Lyra Motorsports cars. Away they go. Oh, Lyra spins out early. David Levine will take the checkers. Let's see what happened here. Oh, just bumpy out of the gate. He gets up on top of Deegan's roof. Slides all the way down to the finish pillow. Our new four wide tracks certainly bring the excitement today. Next up, it's Haley, Kimmel, Briscoe, and Sargent. Down the slope they go, and a close race with Haley all the way. Shoots through. All four cars make it this time. Now next, up the short, short, steep hill, it's Kyle Weatherman, Grant Enfinger, Gustine, and Mason Mitchell. Down they go. Oh, squarely for Gustine. He recovers, but it's Grant Enfinger that takes the win and finishes off our four-wide round of 32. As we move on to the two wides, it's Cole Custer and Leilani Munter. She's in trouble early. She recovers, but Custer maintains his lead, and he'll move on. Now we've got Spencer Gallagher and Natalie Decker sitting in the gates, ready to launch. Down the slope. Oh, Decker never makes it. Never gets a good launch there. She's upside down just prior to the gate. As we take a look, she's, oh, hung up on the starting gate. Hits the barrier, 
and slides to a stop well behind our winner, Spencer Gallagher. Rolling on in our Elite Eight round, it's Sean Core on the inside and David Levine on the outside. Down they go. Levine never gets a good launch. And Sean Core will win as it looks like Levine couldn't find the right lane. Hung up on the outside. Now here's Justin Haley and Grant Enfinger. Tight race, both full speed all the way, but it's Haley with a little more horsepower there as he'll move on to our final four. Here with Cole Custer and Spencer Gallagher. Down the slope they go. Tight, but Gallagher pulls away at the last minutes. Carries much more momentum down the hill. He'll eliminate Cole. And our other two will be Sean Core and Justin Haley. Waiting, waiting, watch. And Core will hold off Haley. A little bumpy early, but he gets righted and has enough just to hold off the charging Haley at the line. As that'll set up our championship match here between Sean Core and Spencer Gallagher in his 23 Allegiant Chevy. Cars have all lined up in anticipation ready to crown a champion. Down they go, and Sean Cor holds him off. So we take a look at the replay, Spencer, a little bit of a rocky start. He recovers, has the momentum, but just not enough time to catch Sean Cor, who's gonna take home the championship checkered flag today at Basement International Speedway's short track. Sean Cor, your winner of the Summer Diecast Nationals. Is it time? Is it time? Oh, it's time for the confetti drop. Here it comes. Your winner, Sean Core, buried under a mountain of confetti.